<laughs> so this is what four o'clock in the morning looks like in Glen Arm. and behind me is Carrick Fergus Castle and to the left of me is the Old Harbour. Uh, we're in the new marina, very nice facilities I have to tell you so if you want to, um, uh, if you're cruising this way I'd give a big thumbs up to the toilets there. <laughs> and the shower block? Oh yeah I'll be using that later. I think we both shall. Yeah. So. Okay so today's plan is to go from here at Carrick Fergus, ultimately, to here at Bally Castle, but it won't happen in one step because we're going through the North Channel. So the idea is that we're going to stop here, halfway up at Glen Arm, because when we come out here, we'll have the tide ticking us up to there. Then we'll have to stop and wait while the tide reverses. Then we'll catch the next tide round the corner at Fairhead. So we're coming from here out and we're going up that way. And unfortunately for us, the wind is roughly in this direction, so we are expecting a bit of wind over tide later. And we're not really looking forward to that because if the wind gets up with a strong tide like this, it's going to be bumpy, to put it rather mildly. This is where we're going, and as you can see, we love a challenge because look at that. And if you look really, really, really close, these are whirlpools, so it might be a good idea to avoid. Gonna be in a convoy. This here's the rubber duck we got ourselves a convoy. <laughs> We're not a rubber duck. It's an old We're CB a thing. penguin. This here's the rubber penguin. We this got is... ourselves a convoy. Yeah, I was gonna say we we're, we're the penguin. Anyway, <laughs> um, the convoy is ourselves. Um, we've got um, Celtic spirit. Yeah. And we've got Prudence. Oh my God, she got so ecstatic after that one. A boat named Prudence. A boat called Prudence. So um, anyway, so we're in con uh, a convoy and um, we're going off to a event, an event that's organised by the... Um, Sail and Cruising Club Northern Ireland. Sail and Cruising Club Northern Ireland. So I hope you want to join us. This is part of the uh, Antrim Coast Walk. And uh, as you can see, it's all been refurbished and it looks pretty darn hairy to me. Well, it looks like it would be an absolutely fascinating walk today. around um, the UK um, in a sailboat, you've got to learn about your tides. Last, yes, yesterday we left Carrot Fergus about four o'clock and because the tide was giving an assist, we got to Clen Arm about eight o'clock, just after eight o'clock. Um, it was unfortunately mostly on the motor, but we got here with a, a tide assist. It is now four o'clock, gonna be four o'clock in the morning and we're going to be leaving Glenham to carry on up the close to Bally Castle. And hopefully the weather will be considerably better than yesterday because yesterday's weather was quite frankly dreadful. It was all right for about three hours of the passage and then the last hour and a half the wind really um, 
picked up from the north and because the tide um from the north but because the tide was from the south uh you got a really a huge amount of wind over tide and um that just brought up a lot of um white peaks and things like that just because of wind over tide um i don't expect the sea to um carry because sometimes when you have a storm or something like that it'll keep the it will the next day will be bad as well but i think because this was just a wind over tide it won't it won't um, affect the sea as uh, in that way you know the, a storm would also the tides around here are quite strong and the tide has reversed and gone the other way and now it's going to reverse and go back the other way so yeah but what we're doing is and that's why we've done it in two little um bursts because we've used the tide to get up to Glen Arm and we've just basically just had a rest here at Glen Arm and now we're going to go back, carry on um, up and we'll probably be arriving about 10 o'clock in the morning. So this is what four o'clock in the morning looks like in Glen Arm. And I have no idea if you can hear it. But the birds are going ballistic. So you can see here a sun pillar, which indicates where the sun is going to come up. And on the sea, you can see all the boys from the fish farm and the lobster pots. Oh yeah, as Gaynor wants me to point out, you can see all the boy eating lobster pots and things around the fish farm, and there are no shortage of them. And that's one of the fish farms, and that's another of the fish farms over there. This rock caught our attention, principally this bit, because it looks like somebody's engraved the letter A on it. Now I suspect it's just the way the rock is, but this is clearly A rock. <sighs> I thought it was going to be motoring all the way, but We've got the sails up and in a second we're going to get the motor off. Alright, so we're motor sailing at the minute. We have the sails up. The motor has given us about four and a half knots. The sails are giving us another knot on top and the current is giving us 1.4 knots. So we're doing about four and a half through the water under motor and not through the water under sail. 1.4 by a tide, so that means we're doing nearly seven knots through the water. And that's good because we've got to get to Fairhead by a certain time because the currents around there are just a little bit dicey and uh, we don't want to get left behind. So we've got Fairhead coming up and when we get round this we're into um, the bay and Ballycastle's on the other side. Uh, but this little stretch between here and Rathlin is the treacherous bit and you can see Celtic Spirit in the distance starting to transit through. And you can see the eddies forming and things. So we have Fairhead here and in the distance, with the sun behind it, you can see Scotland and the Mull of Kintyre. And coming round over here, Rathlin Island. Well, we've arrived in Valley Castle. So Beverly, what time is it now? Second breakfast time. Yep, which is 8.44 in the morning <laughs> and that is my second breakfast in the pan. Oh yeah. Well, we're at um, um, Ballycastle and uh, this is the Rafflin Island Maritime Festival. So let's go see what we can see. One more go, go on. 
work at it that hard, is it? Yeah. We went to a special event and met a fellow YouTuber, Skipper James. <laughs> this is James, and you're on uh, what's your channel? Uh, Skipper James. Skipper, Skipper James. 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 But there was also plenty of time to chat to the other cruisers from Sail Cruising Northern Ireland. What you need to realise is that um, sailing is all about opportunities and uh, which is the uh, sailing and um, Sailing and cruising Northern Ireland, and it's all about. <laughs> it gives us opportunities to meet great people and have a laugh. And at the end of the day, that's what we all want in life: is to have a laugh. And <laughs> Afterwards, it was back to Skipper James's boat where he introduced us to one of his mystery drinks. All I can say is, what stays on the boat, so what happens on the boat, stays on the boat!